Hey guys, I hope I'm recording. Um, alright, so when you're watching this, I have 300 subscribers. Gotta get a whoop whoop! Round of applause. Yay! Awesome. So, um, the last video you watched was Randomnessness with Jaw, and I thought that would be really awesome. So, Anyway, so I hit 300 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. You might think, like, she only has 300. Well, yes, I have 300, but that's still awesome and that's still amazing. And I'm really, really happy because 300 is a big statement for me. Um, to show that my videos have been really hard and I did work really hard on them. And like I said in all my other videos, YouTube is like a job to me and I take it seriously. Like, I'm basically paying month to month on a laptop that I won't say, but I'm spending month to month on a laptop because I feel like I need a laptop ASAP and without a laptop because this laptop that I have right now, it's dying down and it, if you watch my randomness, um, randomness with jaw video, um, it like, I'll leave it the link down below. In fact, I'll probably leave it right here so click right here and it basically tells you why I need a new laptop so you know it take YouTube seriously so anyways so if you're watching this video um, I hit 300 subscribers yes so first I'm gonna talk about uh, about my surfing accident and then I'll do a Q&A and if you stick to the end there'll be a surprise because I hit 300 subscribers, but I won't go into that yet. And to see the surprise, you have to, like, watch the video. And if you fast forward it and just skip to this nonsense, then you'll miss a cool, awesome story. It's pretty legit, actually. It's like my life and death situation. It's pretty epic. Anyway, so let's get started. So when I was 10, I've been surfing since I was 3. Like, when I first learned how to surf, I was 3 years old. And I lived, I'm like, if you all know, down below, I'm actually from Hawaii. I'm born and raised in Hawaii. I'm Hawaiian. Um, so I lived in Hawaii and I surfed and my um, my cousin and my uncle taught me how to surf because I have older cousins that are like big, they're guys and I have some who are girls but they taught me how to surf and I've been surfing all my life and especially my brother he knows how to surf too. And so um, I've been surfing and uh, all my life and I've been like in competitions and all that and to cut the story and so to make it more epic um it's not really epic but it's actually pretty scary um, it's like he has like a big whole trophy case of like all the cousins and the family surfing um but we're not in speaking terms but I'm not gonna go into that that's for another story but anyway so so I was 10 years old and I was in a surfing competition it was a junior's it was a junior surfing competition for like juniors, which is like for little kids, because you have the pro, the pros, which is like where Bethy Hamilton is in. You have the pros, and then you have like the juniors, where it's just like a, like just a small mini one for like ages like, um, like for the younger age. So I was like ten years old, and yeah. So it was I'm telling you from what I've heard from my family's perspective, because honestly, when I tell you the story, I basically didn't know anything. I was like, my mind was just blank. So I was 10 years old and I was surfing and if you know what a barrel is, it's like you have your, okay, this is your wave. Okay, your wave is, goes like this and it forms like a barrel, like, you know, like those barrels, like, forms like a barrel, if you know what I'm saying. So it forms like a barrel. If you watch surfing um, competitions, you know that the surfers goes inside the barrel and then they come out, like a little tunnel thing. So I was in the barrel, I was surfing the barrel coming out and um, on around your ankles, when you, when you surf or have a surfboard, you or like even bodyboards, you have those things that you can tie around, like it latches to the surfer or the surfer, <laughs> latches to the surfboard or the bodyboard and you can just wrap it on your arm. But for a surfboard, you wrap it around your leg. So it was wrapped on my leg and it got wrapped around and I was trying to do like tricks and I was trying to like turn myself where I could just unleash it and stuff, but I don't know what happened. All I remember was I went down on the water, my my leash was stopped, wrapped around me, got down around, I got sucked in a wave, and all I remember was I hit the rock. 
and I blanked out. And I remember instead of landing on, I think, on my head, I landed on my arm. And you, if you can't see, like, I mean, I mean, you can't really tell it's crooked, but um, I broke my arm, like this arm right here, and it's like imagine a rock, and you're just and it snapped, like I think a bone somewhere, like one of these bones right here that separates your. I don't even know if there's a like right here this bone and then this bone. So I basically had a cast, and so I'm going to that. So it snapped, and all I could remember was um, I blanked out, and then I woke up on the beach. And I could feel my arm, like, so much pain. Like, someone was, like, s like legitimately constantly stabbing my arm, like, going pew, 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 pew. Like, it really, really, really hurt. Like, a pain that is just, like, a needle or, like, a sharp object going through, your, like, your arm. It really hurts. Like, that's all I remember. And then I looked at everyone, and, and then I blanked out. And, um, <clears throat> I was basically in a coma and um and the doctor said from her parents from what I've heard from my brother and my cousins and my family um the doctor said that um I was how do I say this like I was <clears throat> I was basically my mind just shut down because I was in shock like I was like I was basically in shock because like of that incident and I yeah, so I was in shock, pretty much. And so I was in a coma for, like, I think four, four or five, six hours. Like, almost, like, half the night. Um, and so I, I didn't know where I was. I, like, I woke up and the doctor was, like, everyone was, like, shocked. And I was freaked out. And I'm, like, I lost my memory for about a week and a half and my doctor said that according to my brother doctor said that I basically had a minor concussion I could have a if I had a major concussion it would be really bad but I had a minor concussion and they said that good thing I landed on my arm if I hadn't landed on my arm it would I would be severely more injured than I already was so I woke up and I had a cast and and I looked at my cast according to my brother and like I was like basically freaked out I didn't know who anybody was I didn't know who are these people I was basically freaking out like who are you like who are you and like if you were my if you were my family issues and you wake up and some of your family members and you wake up and you don't know who they are it's kind of like scary because like it's like you wake up one morning and you don't know anybody you don't know where you are it's like you feel like you're completely like lost and I didn't know who's my brother my brother said I didn't know anybody I was like I was basically really like freaked out and so um I went home and I had a cast on I worked for like about six to eight uh, almost like six to eight weeks cast um almost like a month and so about the for the whole week and a half my family tried to remember remember everything and try to like get me to remember they showed me albums and photo albums and they like basically like took me everywhere this is where I'm from and um and my brother told me that he had a little fun with me saying that all the other like joking around because I lost my memory like I didn't remember anything and towards the end of the week and a half my brother said that I I started remembering everybody and basically like I was back to normal and everyone was like freaked out like oh my gosh thank you I was like what are you talking about like why are you guys crying like why are you in tears like oh you lost your memory and all that I was like why do I have a cast on my arm like you got her I was like I did and he was like yeah all I remember was I hit the rocks and then I woke up in the beach and then I woke up at the hospital like what the heck was going on was like oh you had a minor concussion and all that and I finally like freaked out and yeah, so out of cast, and then like that's I why I stopped surfing because like every time I surf, I always think of what happened, you know. Like, and I went to therapy and all that other stuff to like, you know, to not like be scared, and um, that's why. And also that lead to like my anxiety because um, uh, that was like a really big impact in my life, and also other things 
that led to make anxiety that more worse than it ever was. But that was the first part when I was diagnosed with anxiety. Well, not diagnosed with anxiety, but that like because of my trauma, I have like trauma problems, and because of the accident, yeah. Anyway, so that's my story. So yeah, and I'm all better now, and thank goodness I'm here, and thank God, and yeah. And so that's pretty much it. And so <clears throat> also I'm doing a Q&A video because I hit 300 subscribers. I have never done a Q&A video. I've never done one in my life. I've watched Q&A videos. So um, yeah, so basically this is my first Q&A. You have two weeks to answer. Two weeks is going to go on. And so basically comment down below. Oh, my kitten is like meowing he wants to go outside. Do you hear him? Anyways. Oh, bright light. My lighting is just right there. It's like in my face. So, um, <laughs> comment down below your questions and, um, if any questions for me you want to ask and anything you want to know, comment down below. Also, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Also, yeah, comment down below your questions and everything and um, if you are following me on my Twitter and Instagram and my social media, uh, my Twitter and Instagram, you can also go ahead and ask me questions there. Just comment on one of my photos on my Instagram or just uh, tweet me your questions and I'll be sure to answer your questions within the two-week frame. Um, so, two weeks from now. So, um, yeah. So, two weeks from now, I'll probably answer them probably like after my VK because I'm going on vacation. Um, so, yeah. So, comment down below your questions and, yeah. And so for the surprise video, and those of you who stick it to the end and did not fast forward it, awesome. If you just fast forward it, then eh, doesn't matter. But so for the surprise, um, I have a lot of video requests of people, my friend, my YouTube friends telling me to, my YouTubers and my subscribers telling me to do this. And I'm really shy, and I'm going to do it because I hit 300, and I thought a lot of people request this, so I'm going to do it. Um, please don't judge me. Um... I've never done this in front of the camera before. Uh, yeah, and the stage is different, but on the camera right in front of me, it's kind of scary. But anyway, so I'm gonna sing a song, and um, it's called Reflections um, by Christine. Oh, was well, not by Christine Aguilera, but she like re-sang it, and it's from uh, from Mulan. And give this a thumbs up if you like Mulan, because I love Mulan. So. Um, I apologize if I close my eyes because I'm kind of scared, but let's do this. I'm going to do it a cappella, um, just for, just because of copyright intended, and I don't want to, like, copyright anything. So, <clears throat> here we go. <clears throat> look, look at me. You may think who I really am. For a perfect daughter. Now I see if I could trust your heart who is that girl i see staring straight back at me when will my reflection show who i am inside somehow i cannot hide who i am Though I tried, when will my reflection show who I am inside? When will my re- Ta-da! Thank you guys so much! I hit 300! Yay! Oh my god, that was so embarrassing! So, get this deal! video a thumbs up if you like the start my my act surfing accident story um awesome for an awesome q a and because we hit 300 and i signed for you guys surprise so thank you so so much don't forget to subscribe and yeah aloha bye and one last thing um i have a birthday wish and for my birthday wish i was wondering if we could make it to a thousand subscribers on my birthday my Am I pronouncing it? Birthday. So, my birthday is on Veterans Day. Cause, and also, it's not only my birthday. We're going to celebrate all the vets out there. I mean, my my hubby, my fiancé, is a vet. 
Um, so, yeah, we're going to celebrate him and me. So, awesome. Anyway, so that would be a really awesome birthday gift. It would mean a world to me if we can hit a thousand by my birthday, by Veterans Day. So, if we could do it, amazing. If we can't, then that's okay. But if it's, we can do it, then awesome. And comment down below. Share this video. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for 300. I love you guys so much. Welcome to the Jada Day Butans. I love you guys so much. Butans. I still figure out, like, that's a weird name. But anyways, love you guys so much. Aloha. Bye.